Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line and I am back to talk to you guys this week about the new pattern releases for July. Um, it hasn't been like a mega month, everything goes a bit quiet in August, but we've got quite a few little crackers to talk you through. Um, I just wanted also to say a big thank you to everyone who's been watching our videos. It's really nice, like, there have been lovely comments and we really appreciate it because, to be honest, video was something I was a bit scared of doing so it has, I've had to sort of push myself to do it so I just wanted to say thank you. Anyway, I am going to get cracking and start with the first pattern. I picked this one to go first because I'm actually wearing it and thought it would be a good one to start with. It is the Frankie dress and top from Tasuti Patterns and they're an Australian company and if you haven't seen their patterns they're really fantastic and they whip them out at quite a rate so they're definitely worth checking out because there's always something new from them. So what we've got with this is actually a really simple pattern. I'm going to just stand up so you can have a bit of a look. It's a jersey dress and top and it's quite sort of tent like I guess in um, shape. So if you've got a bit of a tummy or you're trying to, you feel like you want a day where you can let it all out, it's quite a good one. Um, I've got a belt on with mine because I feel like I need that to nip it in on my body shape. But it, yeah, it's a great pattern, it's quite a simple one. I whipped it up in probably an hour and a half. So it's pretty speedy, you overlock the insides. And yeah, if you want a sort of staple, it's quite a nice one but it's got a bit of a twist with the shape. I think the sort of, the sort of ballooning off, no, that's not, definitely not the right word, the extra volume it gives you in the cut, I like that shape. It's quite cos-like in some of their shapes, so I think it's a good one, and definitely worth investing if you haven't got your sort of stripy top sorted. Um, the fabric I've got is from um, Fabric Galore, and it's amazing. So if you want some stripy stuff, they're definitely the place to go. The other thing that I did, which I should probably show you, which was slightly against the rules, but I wanted to do it anyway, is that I've, the back of it, the stripes are going down, so I've changed the direction of the stripe, which I thought made it a little bit more interesting. So, yeah, that gets a double thumbs up from me. So up next, we've got the Saffron Pants from Deer and Doe which are a French pattern company and um, they haven't released anything for a while so it was quite exciting to see something new from them. Um, these jeans and let's be honest, that bottom, I mean the photo shoot alone was enough to sell the pattern for me. <laughs> um, if you could guarantee getting her pert bottom, you, you'd buy it wouldn't you? Um, I really like this, nice sort of, I think there's a real resurgence for jean making after um, closet case files, ginger jeans, which pretty much in the sewing world went viral. Um, so there are a few companies now which I've noticed have started doing jean patterns, which is great because it's pushing everyone to like get their skills, take their skills to another level. Um, it is, I mean, it is a jean, it's not reinventing the wheel, it's, but the cut looks really nice, I have to say, and they're high-waisted which um, I like because I have a big bottom and I need that extra round the back to stop it gaping. Um, yeah, I think if you want to try a jean, they're definitely, and I think it's the same with all of these, these patterns, that if you use deer and doe patterns and you feel comfortable with them, then you'll probably feel confident about taking your make to another level and making jeans. So if you want to do it, go for it. So, up next we have got the kitty dress from Marvin Patterns. If you haven't heard of them before, they're quite new, they're a British company and they've got, I think, about four or five patterns, but there's a definite, I think with them, if you like Merchant and Mills patterns, I think you'll like these, there's a definite nod towards them in terms of the style. Um, this dress is really interesting actually, I, I, I am quite fascinated by it and I'd love to see if anyone makes it. Um, it's quite, it's quite a simple shift, but the interesting thing about it is that the bust darts are taken, they go to the centre front, so you, they will come out of there and they end, I'm sorry I'm pointing at my nipples while I'm talking about this, so they end there and it's quite an interesting way of taking the fullness out of the bust and I'd be fascinated to see if anyone does it. The, also I like the detail of the um, seam down the centre front 
and also there's a little sailor collar but um yeah i'm fascinated to see if anyone's made this so if you do let me know i'd love to see it and um yeah do check them out because they're it's nice to see a like new company starting out and i think from what i've seen so far they've got some really interesting stuff to come so up next is our girl crush that is wear lemonade um, another great pattern from her and we're not just saying it because we fancy her um, this one is called the India jumpsuit and um, it was released a couple of weeks ago I really like it I'm well I've, I'm quite a fan of the jumpsuit and this one I like it because it's I guess it's slightly technically more difficult to make but I think you'd end up with a really interesting garment I like the fact that there's a structured waistband um, and because I'm not a huge fan of a gathered waistband myself so this way you're, it's kind of more structured as I just said um, v-neck wrap over um, and as usual the photography is totally beautiful so beautiful that you just want to buy it anyway and um, yeah I think it's going to be a good one there's pockets on the back as well on the bottom so this, it's, it's interesting in the fact that it's definitely a jumpsuit but there's definitely a nod to jeans there and the trousers are not super tight, quite relaxed fit um, but definitely taper down at the bottom so that they're tight around the ankle and yeah really a really good one from them I think so next up we have got the Roomy Tank from Christine Haynes. Um, I don't know if anyone has noticed or whether it's just me because I'm a massive pattern nerd but there have been a lot of tank releases over the last I think probably three or four months there have been I mean a lot and I guess it's just unfortunate that it's all happened but they've all come out together because they've obviously been in planning and preparation for months and months and months. Um, but I, I do really like the Ruby Tank. I think it, it's interesting because it's got a racer style back and I like the fact that you can take it from a top to a dress. Um, the dress shape is quite um, A-line, so you get a bit more, it's quite full, I guess you would say. Um, and the top's really nice as well. Like, you know, it's just a basic, a really nice basic. And Christine Haynes, always nails it in terms of fit so I think if you are thinking about buying a basic sort of tank top and you haven't bought one from everyone else yet the Rumi tank's a good one and the racer back makes it interesting because there hasn't there haven't really been any ones with that sort of back and yeah it's jersey I should say I haven't said that it's a jersey um, pattern so it would be a good first venture into stretch if you haven't done it yet so yeah, it's a good one. I mean, it's simple, but a goodie, which you can't complain of. So we have got the, I, now this is a tricky one in terms of how you pronounce it, and I'm definitely sure I've got it wrong because I think it's a Thai word, it's because they're based, this pattern is based on fishermen's pants. Nihalem, I'm just gonna stick with that. I'm sorry, it's definitely pronounced wrong. Um, this one is from So House 7, and um, I don't know if you saw last month, they had a really, or was it, it might, have, it might have even been the month before, they had a lovely um, tea house wrap dress, which is definitely worth checking out. And you can see the influence has carried on through to this pattern. So this is a skirt and trouser pattern based on fisherman's pants. So they are very relaxed fit, they wrap at the front and then you tie them up and then I think you kind of, you can either leave it so there's excess around here or you can fold it over so that you have it kind of, it forms almost a waistband. Um, it has patch pockets which are optional which you can put on, um, but yeah though, it's, an, it's an interesting one, we haven't had anything like this and I like, I like the sort of relaxed fit. For me personally and my body shape, I'm pear shaped, so it would, I mean, a disaster for me. But I think if you've, if you're quite a, an athletic build, um, it would look amazing on you. And they're definitely worth checking out. It's an interesting cut. It's lovely to see something that's kind of unusual because 
it doesn't happen that often, I have to say anymore. So yeah, go and check it out. Definitely worth like thinking about or adding to your make list. So up next, we have the um, gable top from Jennifer Lauren Vintage. And this is, I really like the look of this one. It is a classic Breton shape. So a slash neck, um, jersey pattern. Again, simple basic, and I think if you haven't got one, you know, I guess it's, there's two options. You either go, you can go for the Tassuti one this month, which has got a much more relaxed fit, um, sort of flares out from the bust, or you could go for this one, which is definitely more fitted. Um, really simple shape, definitely quick to whip up, and I think once you've altered the pattern if you need to to fit you, you can whip these up in loads of colours and have them as like your classic wardrobe staple. So definitely worth a peek if you're after a sort of Breton pattern. So up next we have got the Birdie Bomber jacket from Sew This Pattern. Um, this is, I really like this pattern actually, so it's really simple um, little bomber jacket. It's got, well you all have seen, it's got sort of a bat wing, but it's actually, when I look closer, it's actually a raglan sleeve, which means it'll be really easy to put in. Um, I think it would be a really good pattern for someone who is sort of an advanced beginner, so who's made a few dresses and wants to push themselves to make something new, because you've got, you've, you're adding, um, you'll be adding a zip down the front and you'll also be adding ribbing around the collar. So I think it would be a good one to sort of push yourself to try something new. Um, I really like the sort of drapey fabric that she's used in the pictures and I think it's quite versatile in that way. I think you could have it as a like going out jacket in a more drapey fabric but I think actually it would look quite cool in something more structured as well. So um, yeah, I really like this one and I think it could be a good one if you want to push your skills. So last but definitely not least, we have got the Everyday Blouse from Up Craft Club. And this is a collaboration with the lovely Rachel Pinero who designed the pattern and they kind of brought it to life. Um, this is really, I mean, a really, as it says on the package, an everyday blouse, a really nice shape. It's quite a simple, relaxed fit. It's got nice details, so at the sides, they, um, it's got an exposed zip each side. So that adds a like interesting detail. And also around the shoulder, there's slight gathering around the shoulder because you insert some elastic around here. So it adds a bit of another little nice detail. Um, I really like this. I think it would be great in a sort of a lovely kind of drapey viscose. But I do think, although it doesn't say it, I think actually you could probably have a go in Jersey in this one and it would be quite nice as well. Um, I really like it, I think it's a good one to buy and definitely, you know, if you need, it would be perfect actually for the office and at the weekend, so it's a good transitional piece for your wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed that and inspired to get your autumn makes going. We're going to put a link down below to our blog post with all the info on so you can have a proper peruse and there's also some extra patterns that I didn't include in the video. Also. Next week, or no, I think it's the week after, um, we're going to do a different type of video. We're going to have a Q&A. It's our one year anniversary and um, we thought it might be quite a fun thing for people to ask us questions and we're going to have a chat about what we've been doing over the last year. Um, so if you do have a question for us, whether it's about pattern help, fitting issues, blogging, social media, anything you want, silly questions, I'd like a silly question. Um, just put a comment below and we will hopefully use that. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you have a lovely weekend and we will see you again soon. Bye.